Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiz Alam and in this session we learn about uh, entering an expense report. How can we enter the expense report and uh, what are the various steps that are involved. So let's begin. So an employee might incur business expenses into the business that and that uh, are, there are chances that they paid uh, from their pocket. So when an employee requests reimbursement for business expenses that are paid by uh, paid by them, so these expenses are outlined or these are gets recorded uh, on a digi digital document called an expense report that we'll be uh, creating today. So an expense report contains a categorized and itemized uh, list of expenses that are made on behalf of the organization. This report helps the employer or other financial team uh, to determine what money was spent, what was purchased and how much of the expenditure is approved for reimbursement. So all these things are uh, uh, taken into consideration for the expense report. But if we talk about the expense report, so it is not limited uh, for claiming reimbursement only. It also uh, helps business uh, to file tax returns, uh, claim tax deductions and complete the auditing. So we'll see how can we enter an expense report. Currently, I have been logged in here as an employee center rule. So in order to enter an expense report, uh, we'll click on this option, enter expense report. So here you can see that the department is already populated followed by my name as uh, I'm logging here as an employee center. So my name is appearing. Date, uh, this date uh, here, we have to select a date on which the expense report uh, is become due. So uh, today's date is uh, already uh, populated here. Then if you want to mention any purpose for this expense report, so we can define it as a kind of a memo that is used for uh, reference here. And if we are uh, applying any advances, means if we are having any previous advances and if we want to apply it on to this expense report, so we can enter an amount here. Currency is populated followed by the subsidy. Now going down here, uh, we have, we can either uh, we can check this box or we can uh, remove this checkbox if we are making expenses or if we want to uh, get the reimbursement in multiple currencies, so we can check this box. Then here we have to define the date the, on which the expenses was actually made. And if we do not define any date, so the date will be automatically taken up by the system. That will be uh, today's date here. So you can see today's date is here. If we want to change the date, if I change it to 18th of November, then we have to select a category. So I'm selecting this service utility. Exchange rate would be applicable when we are uh, pro providing any foreign amount and all. Currency, I will take USD here. Then amount. So I have uh, created uh, this expense report for $1200. Now I will uh, click on add. You can see under the summary tab, the expense total is given here as $1,200 and the reimbursable expenses is also coming as $1,200. So I have uh, created this expense report for uh, one uh, category only that is for service utility. Then this uh, show policy. Uh, the category, the expenses that we have used, if we want to view, uh, the, because there are certain expense uh, policies that are created. So if we want to view it, so you can see that the, these are all the, uh, this, this is uh, concerned with the policy. If we want to view it, so, uh, as you know, under the policy, there are certain limits and certain uh, certain actions that uh, we have to provide amount. My amount limit is also provided. So I have provided uh, the, under this expense category that is made for a utility one service utility one. So you can see that the amount um, quantity, sorry, the uh, limit is set as uh, 500, but we have uh, entered an expense report for 1200. 
so we'll go back because the uh, limit is getting exceed but uh, you can see that under the actions it will warn us but it will allow the expenses so that is why th as this action is selected so it will not uh, uh, restrict us to save this but you can see that it is showing us like this now we will be uh, saving or submitting it So here we got the confirmation that our expense report has been saved and it is pending uh, for approval. Uh, we'll go back to the dashboard. And see uh, here is the one that we have created. It is uh, pending for approval. The amount for it is $1,200. So uh, apart from entering the expense report, we are having other options. If we can view the expense report, if we want to search for any of the expense report, if we want to uh, look uh, into the expense report policies, so we can uh, view that. So that is, uh, this is the way in which we can enter an expense report under the employee center rule. So that's all about the topic. In case of any doubts and uh, questions, you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.